Hey, thanks for joining me today. We're going to be tying something I like to call the mixed shrimp. It's not unlike any other shrimp pattern. Um, it's pretty close to some other ones. A few slight variations that I think make this work really well. Um, today we're tying on a one aught hook. It's rather large. I, I'm actually tying this to mimic a brown shrimp that are in the gulf, and these are kind of large shrimp. So we're going to start by uh, wrapping our thread all the way back to the bend of the hook, and then we're going to take a bead chain eye, and we're going to wrap in our bead chain eye with some X wraps. And like always, we're definitely going to want to put a drop of super glue just to make sure those eyes do not move. Okay. We're going to rotate our hook upside down. Next we're going to be cutting some rubber leg material. I'm using brown and orange. You know, uh, two different colors, kind of kind of funky, but I kind of like the look that it gives. And as you can see, it's brown and orange. We're going to tie that in uh, right at the front of the hook, right at the bend. Okay, and wrap it back on itself and tie it in the other direction. So each side is going on opposite sides of the hook here. Next, we're going to take some fiber. Um, this is some type of synthetic fiber you're going to want to use. We want a fairly large chunk of it. Okay, as you can see, it's a pretty thick chunk. We do want a lot of it. What we're going to do is we're going to take the, the end that we're going to tie in here and make sure and taper it to almost look like the head of a shrimp. Okay. And we're going to tie it in. It's kind of hard to see where I'm doing this, but we're going to tie it in on the opposite side of the um, the eye, the bead chain eye. Okay, and once we tie in our fiber, we're going to want to take a few pieces of crystal flash. So I don't like wasting materials, so I take my crystal flash and I double it up on itself, cut, cut it a few times. We don't need this super long. Okay, and we're going to tie in crystal flash on top of that fiber. And you want to make it a little longer, just slightly longer than the end of your uh, fiber here. Okay, do a couple wraps to lock that in. Make sure it's right on top. Okay, and then you pull all your fiber back, including your crystal flash, and expose the hook again. Then we're going to take some of this dubbing I like something with a lot of flash to it. This is actually pretty good stuff. It's got um, it's got like tiny, tiny rubber legs in it too, which I like because it really adds a lot of depth and uh, um, adds a lot of depth to this uh, shrimp. Makes it look more like shrimp legs. Okay, I'm gonna do a pretty hefty chunk of this. Do a couple wraps and then start wrapping down. I don't know if you can see in the camera how flashy this is, but this has a lot of a lot of shine to it. We want to heavily dub this all the way down. go. Once we do that, we're actually going to go ahead and cut up the top to ensure that this, don't make sure you don't cut your fiber. Be really careful once you get up there. Okay. I'm going to take a brush. I'm just using a toothbrush. If that's all you got, you can use that. Now that you did that, You want to separate and pull down your uh, your fiber with your crystal flash. 
Okay, you want to make sure that the crystal flash is sitting right on top. Okay, and you want to pull this pretty tight. You want to make sure all the fibers are not bent or anything. Okay. There we go. Okay, give it a couple wraps, make sure that's cinched in. And then we can cut this. I like cutting it a little long to give it like the, the look of a tail, a shrimp tail. Whip finish our shrimp. So I'm going to take this, this is Solares. Um, this is their thin, hard formula. It allows it to kind of get deep in there and penetrate the hook. We're probably going to be doing two coats with this. It's really good stuff. It, it, it does penetrate really well. Kind of almost like a head cement. Okay. Once you move that around with your bodkin, go ahead and cure it. Okay, I'm going to do a second coat here. I like making this kind of glossy. Yeah, it gives it a nice, nice look. All right, and then the last step for me is I like taking this. Uh, this is also by Solaras. It's the bone hard or bone dry, I believe it's called. This. Uh, this is super thin, but it dries really, really hard, um, very, very quickly with no tackiness whatsoever, which is re really nice. Uh, cures, sorry, not dries. And as you can see, once you, it doesn't take long at all. It's, I mean, it's nice and shiny and and hard, and it it cures really quick. So. There we go. That is the finished shrimp. Uh, the eyes here um, do two things. One, it almost looks like an eye. It looks like the shrimp eye in a way. Um, two is it keeps it swimming upside down like this. I kind of like the upside, upside down shrimp like this. Um, it keeps it out of the weeds when you're fishing it. Um, a lot of times I'm fishing these uh, more on the bottom uh, or close to it in the flats. and um, almost like you would fish like a crazy Charlie um, but this actually gives you like the profile of a uh, um, <clears throat> of a shrimp versus just the head um, so that's kinda how I fish this but as you can see it ha it definitely looks like a brown shrimp they always have that lighter you know uh, line coming down their their backside but then they're a very darker you know dark brown color everywhere else and uh, so I created this to be able to mimic that um, go ahead and give it a try guys if you like it um, let me know let me know how you do with it um, also if you like what you see I've got a lot of videos uh, go ahead and subscribe and plenty more will be coming uh, and uh, if you have any questions or have any uh, flies that you want me to give a try for uh, go ahead and, and leave a message in the comment section below and I will respond as quick, quick as possible so thank you guys